Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna share with you my secrets to superhuman strength. Yes, with four exercises, if you master these, I'll promise you, you will be far from average. Master these, all the strength you will gain from here, you will be able to transfer that to whatever else you're into, okay? For this next one, we're gonna use the pseudo plant push-ups. And there are some technical things you really want to pay attention to. And that is to maintain a hollow body position. You really want to keep your arms straight in your starting position. And there's a lot of tension coming to your wrist. So you really want to rotate them a bit outwards. You can use some parallels to change your workouts out. Dips, handstand push-ups, my bench press, basically everything have increased by using only one exercise. And that's insane. So it's really a key movement you really want to spend some time on mastering and getting stronger. To make it easier, you can always use the eccentric approach, where you only go to the point where you can and then lower with control. Now the next way you can help yourself is through mechanical advantage. So what you basically do is that you change the mechanics of your body to make the exercise easier or harder by increasing or decreasing your weight from the center of gravity. And that could be to go into an eccentric version where you lower yourself up and then you go into an easier or just into the push up and push yourself up. So I hope you get, got an understanding of how you can play around and basically fit the exercise to your level and slowly build up the strength to harder and harder variations. Now for the next superhuman strength exercise, you want to be working towards the one arm chin up. And that is with unilateral pull-ups. So you basically pull with focus only on one arm, okay? And that can be with having the rings like this, we're having a mixed grip chin up and only focusing on the supinated hand. A way you can approach this, firstly, is of course the eccentric version. You get up to the lockout and you slowly lower yourself to the full extension. Next, you can use a band again if you don't own a band, it's a great investment in your bodyweight training because it just allows you to make any exercise easier if you just are created, creative enough. There's, of course, many other ways, but these are the basic three that I have used and have helped me really to get this skill down. As much for the carryover, there's not much to say. It's basically the king of pulling movements. It's a great prehab tool and also a prehab journey to get there if you do it wisely. Basically all my pulling movements, either it's straight arm or bent arm, it's helped insanely a lot through this way. So another key movement to really focus on. Okay guys, so for the last exercise we're gonna do the pipe push-ups, which you can scale from elevated to the wall. And of course the easiest version is on the ground. <laughs> Straighten your legs and you want to basically shape a triangle with your head and your hands. You need some pipe flexion, so if you're not flexible enough, of course you can bend your knees, but I think it's really essential that you're able to touch your toes. It's kind of embarrassing, so get your shit together, man. <laughs> handstand push-ups which are not only impressive but they're insanely good at building your pushing strength along with the pseudo plants push-up they're also really great because they are balancing out your workouts in a way where you they keep your shoulders healthy as you get strong in both the horizontal and the vertical plane movements <laughs> Now 
next superhuman exercise is the tucked rows or legless rows. What you want to be focusing on here is straight arms and retracted scapula. And that means basically the opposite, opposite position of the pseudo plant push-ups. So in general, if you want to achieve the tuck level rows, you want to be using two exercises, which is the skin the cat eccentric. So keep your knees tucked in and lower yourself slowly. Kick yourself back up. So if you combine skin the cat with the body weight row, you will slowly build up the strength to be able to do the tucked version, the legless version, and slowly build up there to achieve the front lever and the front lever rows. So be patient, do the work, gains will come brother. So as you can see, I need a lot of work on this one, but the results will start speaking for themselves. If you are consistent, if you put in the work, these exercises will pay off shortly. Now, that's all great, Jonathan, but how the hell am I gonna implement all these new exercises into my training to benefit from them? And that's a really good question. My best approach to this is to max choose two goals for your training, one, pulling movement and one pushing movement and so the best way to construct this is to basically make a routine where you combine pulling and pushing in the same session. You make supersets from pulling to pushing directly. That way you are very time efficient but also you are making great gains and you are keeping your shoulders and your body healthy and away from imbalances. So let's say your goal could be to achieve the hands and push-ups and the one arm chin up. So a routine could look like this. Stick to it, trust me, this works. If you have a problem constructing your routine or you feel that you have plateaued in a long time in your training or just don't know how to start, you can send me an email, the link is in the description, you can find me on Instagram and I will greatly answer your questions for free. I'm here for you guys, I want to help. Now before wrapping up this video, I want to remind you guys that you have a 10% discount at the Prozzi store, the link is in the description with my code, which is also in the description. So go check that out. The store has everything from supplementation, vitamins, they have gadgets, they have clothes, they keep you in style. Use my code, you help me, I help you, and I salute you. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want deeper ex explanation into the techniques of the exercises or you want me to cover something more in detail in the future, please leave it down in the comment section and I will be happy to answer it or make a video out of it in the future. Peace guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Go make those gains.